For a zerker barbell squat, you're gonna have to hold the barbell in your elbow pit, which is uncomfortable for some at first, but your elbows will get used to it as you work on it. This is a great way to build some upper back strength and help with those who really struggle to get deep and those who really have their chest fall forward a lot in their squats. The key for most barbell squats is going to be the start position. We wanna make sure our rib cage and pelvis are stacked. So we're gonna make sure our knees are soft, they are not locked. Then we are going to drop our tailbone down. I don't want you squeezing your butt. I just want you to drop it down a little bit. We're gonna tuck our belt buckle up a little bit because that is going to be the same movement. Then we are going to exhale our air out and pull that rib cage down a little bit. We are not gonna overcompensate where we go. I do not want you to be fully rounded. I just want a slightly different position than the extended position most people are in. Once you've got that position figured out and you're set up with the barbell, the next important thing is the execution of the movement, which is gonna be knees down and forward, hips sit in between your legs. And that is going to be important because we want to avoid shifting really far back and making this a deadlift or a good morning. This is a squat, knees go forward. From there, once you're at that bottom position, we're going to push the earth down away from us just like on a leg press machine. That's what I want you to think about, leg press the earth down. We wanna avoid trying to lift up with our backs. You're just pressing your legs down and your body starts to rise to make this a vertical exercise. And that way we avoid overloading our spine. When our spine isn't really what we are trying to load here, we are mostly trying to load our legs. You will get a lot more leg drive if you do these squats this way and you should feel a lot more comfy in your spine as well.